So what do you say about the future of advertising? Where's baby girl? You know, I think, um, to me, uh, this is the most exciting time ever to be in our industry. You could say that, uh, well, the recession and this and that, the financial pressures that we're under. But to me, it's the most exciting time ever to be in our industry because we can do anything today, right? We can do anything. We can uh, create a film. We can create an event. Uh, we can uh, totally uh, recreate a brand. Uh, when I was a young copywriter a thousand years ago, you know, our brief would be, oh, a couple print ads, maybe a TV commercial, a radio spot. Uh, today, the young people are starting in so many different places. Places. They're starting with a website, they're starting with an event, uh, they're starting on social media. And uh, uh, I think that's the future. I think the future of this business is really uh, in, in the reality and the understanding and the acknowledgement that people are the most important medium of all today. Uh, Fifty years ago, our founder of DDB, Bill Birnbeck, said um, word of mouth is the best medium of all. Uh, at DDB, I kind of evolved that in the 90s to so something I call talk value, getting me to t people to talk about our brands. And it really is true. Today, we talk about share value. We talk about social creativity, creating ideas that people want to share, they want to, they want to participate in, they want to play with, uh, they want to pass on to their friends. And I think that, I mean, that is the present and that is the future of our industry. And that's what's so exciting about it. Okay. Do you, do you think that we are attracting, as an industry, the right sort of people who will shape the future of this industry. Are we attracting? Yeah. That's a good question. I'm not sure we're attracting the right people. I think today um, we need much more diversity in the kind of people we attract to our industry. Diversity in terms of uh, background, diversity in terms of ethnicity, uh, certainly in the United States. I'm speaking of the United States there particularly. And, and diversity in terms of uh, the talents that they bring. Uh, we need people who are fluent in, in all kinds of media, in all kinds of ways of communicating. Um, uh, we, we can't limit ourselves to the old, uh, if you will, the old ways of communicating. I remember. Um, I mean, just one quick example, I was president of the press and film jury in 2007. This year I'm uh, fortunate enough to be president of Titanium and Integrated Jury. But back when I was president of the press and film jury, at the end of the judging, you know, the festival asked me, well, what would you do to change things? What, what can we, uh, uh, how can we improve? I said, well, you know what? We're working on at least four screens today. And film, all we're seeing here are films, television commercials. We're not seeing cinema. And really, really, particularly, we're not seeing films that only appear on the internet. Some of the best work we're doing today is only on the internet. So I got them to change the rules uh, for Cannes so that uh, in the next year, uh, uh, films that only appeared on the internet weren't in the film category. So maybe it's small, but it was acknowledgement of the reality uh, of where we're working today. I think the key thing is, as I said, um, we have to acknowledge whatever the categories, whatever the medium, media we're working in, people are the most important medium of all today. People are the most important medium. And we need to create ideas with what I'll call, um, what we call share value. That, an idea that I want to share with a friend, a family, whatever, versus I see a television commercial. I like it, I don't like it. Uh, I interact with it, I don't interact with it. Today, uh, we have the ability to share those things, and that, that is what, to me, is the key to building brands in the future.